Garrett Bradbury joins us inside TCO Studios right now, Viking Center. Garrett, uh, we were just talking. Like a couple months ago, you were in a suit. Yeah. I had rushed back from Nashville, where the draft was. Yeah. We were doing your introductory interview and press conference, and now you're getting ready to play in NFL games. Yeah. A lot has happened in that time. A lot, and it's kind of flown by, but um, getting more comfortable by the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just excited for the season to start. Rick Spielman, how you doing, bud? Doing great. How are you doing? You ready to come up to the north and be a Minnesota Viking? Well, Minnesota. Are you excited to just be on the football field now and just be practicing and getting ready for games? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just it's, there's a whole bunch of boxes that you just need to check throughout yeah. the process. All of that is to get you to a team, and so I'm finally here. That's I did all of that stuff to get me here, and so now it's it's back to what I've been doing my whole life, just playing football. What's it like working with Kirk? You know, because the center quarterback relationship is obviously one that's a little bit different maybe than some other positions yep. or other relationships you'd have on the team. You gotta, you and Kirk have to work well together. So what's that been like? It's been awesome. Kirk's been awesome working with me, um, teaching me a lot of things. Kirk's a really smart guy. And yeah. You can tell that he's really locked in to the offense, what the defense is doing. He loves to hear what the O-line's doing, um, especially in protections and run game and, and, and what we're calling out, what we're IDing. If you get single high, but the guy cannot, he's not deep at all, yeah. I'd go outside the guy and turn into cover zero and let's just go. Okay. It's good to see him super aware and super interested in what we're doing because, I mean, if we're all on the same page, then we're just going to work that much faster. Yeah, you know, there's, there's some moments last season where Kirk would be on the sidelines, and you know how it is on the sidelines during a game. You're making adjustments and you're correcting errors. You know, and he would be very intense and he'd be giving it to Thielen or Diggs, you know, established guys who are really good. Have you been on the receiving end of that yet from Kirk, where it's just like he's talking to you? I mean, because you can see it in his eyes how intense he is. Yeah. I mean, I haven't gotten that yet, but I mean, that's just, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kirk's the leader of the offense, mm -hmm. and I think everyone, I know everyone respects Kirk, and so when he says something to you in that manner, in that um, temperament, I mean, you're gonna listen because yeah. you respect him and because he's a smart guy and knows what he's talking about. What are you anticipating it, it's gonna be like when you're playing preseason games and you're getting ready? You're, I mean, preseason games generally are under the lights, they're, they're night games, um, not always the case and not always the case for us this year, but that'll be a big moment for you, right? Yeah, I mean, like every game, there's a little bit of um, pregame jitters before the game, but I mean, as soon as you hit someone after that first play, yeah. everything goes. I mean, yeah. just, you're doing what you've been doing your whole life. And so that's what we say as an O-line, like we just gotta hit someone, you gotta hit someone. Cause once you do that, it's everything's natural again. Do you have any pregame traditions? Anything you like to do in the locker room or, or during warm up stretch? Not really, I just, I like to stay loose. Yeah. Um, I'm not a super intense guy pregame. I like to stay relaxed um, because a lot of what I do, especially in the center position is pre-snap and so Sure, everything's super physical and you want to be super tough and uh, downhill and finishing defensive players, but at the same time, there's a lot of cognitive stuff pre-snap that I need to be thinking through, uh, remembering protection-wise, ID-wise. So just kind of staying even keeled, not getting too high, yeah. not getting too low. A couple things I want to ask you about uh, teammates. Yeah. Um, a lot of talk about the running game for the Vikings yeah. this season. So you guys in the offensive line room are trying to get your, your ducks in a row and get squared away. Mm -hmm. How about the guys carrying the ball though? What have you thought of, of Dalvin Cook, Amir Abdullah, yeah. Alexander Madison, CJ Ham? What do you think about those guys? I mean, they're just special athletes. Yeah. Uh, they have a lot of personalities too. I mean, there's some fun, energetic guys. And so it's fun. They love the old line and it's fun when they're fist pumping all the offensive linemen after a good run in the huddle and stuff like that. And so I think this new scheme they're really excited about, we're really excited about up front because we know uh, the potential that it has. So. Yeah. The Vikings defensive front is one of the most respected in the league and has been since Zim got here. This Vikings defense is as tough as there is. I mean, they are a really talented bunch. A lot of good players on that side of the ball. You get you see them every every day in practice. Um, what what a good challenge for you guys to go against that group. Yeah, right? I mean it's just it's an opportunity. Yeah, uh, and the better they are, the better we'll become because if we're going against the best, then it's only going to make us better. And so that's something similar I had in college where, I mean iron sharpens iron. You want to be going against the best. Uh, you want to be tested and tried every day in practice because then. Once it comes to Sundays, it's just going to be easy. Yeah. So. You looking forward to a good season? Absolutely. All right, man. Stay healthy. Good luck in uh, preseason. Appreciate it. And we'll see you down the road, right? Absolutely.